Hello and welcome to Major Fitness Victory Tabata Part 3. This is Part 3. We are going to get started on our core with a Turkish get up. You want to hold that weight in your right hand coming up on your left arm. So if the weight is in your right hand, that right knee is bent. You're coming up on your left elbow and all the way up to your left hand. Push up to your left hand. That's all the way up, holding that weight straight up over the chest. We're going to switch sides. This is, again, this is called a Turkish get up. So my left arm is out to the side, right arm is straight, right knee is bent. Come all the way up. Again, you're going to push up off of that elbow to hand. All the way down and all the way up. This victory Tabata, we're concentrating on your core. This is a new one. This is called the Turkish get up holding that weight straight up overhead remember a tabata is 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest well right now what i'm going to do is bend both knees and hold that dumbbell up over the chest as i get ready for my crunch i'm keeping my arms straight and i'm exhaling as i lift being mindful to press that navel to the floor control and feeling that contraction as i come up and exhale as I lift, exhale as I lift. Again, this is a weighted crunch. You can use whatever weight you want. I'm using a 12 pound kettle, a 12 pound dumbbell. Now, moving on, I'm getting ready for my twist, my Russian twist, hold on tight to the bell. As I'm lifting up and over, over the legs, I'm turning my head and shoulders. This is targeting in my obliques. I'm crossed at the ankle, resting on my heel, and crossed right and left. I'm twisting again. Be mindful to turn your head and shoulders as you twist with the weight. Feel that twist, that burning in your obliques. You're going to set the weight out in front. You're going to lay back. Place your hands underneath your low back for support. Cross at the ankle. Lift your head and shoulders up and lift up and over the, the bell. That's up and over. Check it out, I have my head and shoulders off the mat, off the floor. My hands are supporting my low back and I'm lifting my heels up and over. That's up and over. This is a really good burn, good for those lower abdominals, good for the obliques, good for your core. So I'm gonna turn around here so you can get a better look at this Turkish get up. Remember, whatever hand you have the weight in, that's the knee that's bent. So my left knee is bent so therefore my left hand I'm holding the weight straight up over my overhead and I'm coming all the way up on that right elbow to right hand come all the way up be mindful to keep that weight straight bring it all the way up I'm keeping that left leg straight it's out at a slight angle out to the side keeping that arm straight so I'm going to switch arms switch legs so now the right knee is bent right arm I have the weight in my hand and again I'm coming straight up remember you want to lift up put the weight on that left elbow to hand and make sure you try and come straight up this is called the Turkish get up we're working right and left side this is good for your working you're working your core working those obliques come all the way up working for stability and mobility in the shoulder awesome I'm bending both knees, getting ready for my second set of crunches, weighted crunches. Remember, you want to go through three times. The first 10 rounds, the first 10 cycles, that's five minutes. You want to do that three times. That gives you what? Fit 15. By now, you should really be feeling the burn. I'm lifting my head and shoulders up. I'm exhaling as I lift. I'm attaching that weight to my oblique, building a strong core, strong core. You have a strong core, your extremities are strong. So I'm crossing at the ankle, getting ready for what my Russian twist, lift right over left, left over right, side to side, being mindful to turn my head and shoulders. It's okay to sit back on your tailbone, draw those abdominal muscles in. Remember, you never wanna push them out while you're working them and twist and twist 
good. I'm going to set that weight out in front of my, around about, my, about ankles. Place your hands underneath your low back, cross at the ankle, lift head and shoulders up, and here we go, up and over. I'm keeping my legs straight, just lifting those legs up and over the weight. Try not to knock over the weight and go up and over. I'm just gently tapping my heel to the floor. So lifting my head and shoulders off the floor, this assures me that I am really working those oblique muscles, working my erectus abdominis, lift up and over. What do you think of today's workout? Leave your comments. This is Major. You got this.